welcome back everybody today we're doing another lineup live i'm here with a few and we are Yo. checking out the ship you've got the first one in the line so i'm just going to take a quick look around the outside as is tradition so we've got a whole bunch of interesting wedging patterns here i believe that is mesh which is pretty awesome uh what else have we got down here we've got some use of wedging and oh lava I like it. I love what you've done with all of the uh, sort of scaffolding, I guess, on it's these more ar arrays. Of panels. Yeah, yeah, it's nice. That's beautiful. That's some really nice attention to detail on that up there, there, which is nice. Okay, so uh, tell us a little bit about the ship. What's it called? It's called the Gallifrey. I couldn't think of any other name to name it other than the uh, main planet of. The Doctor. Yep. The Time Lord's home planet, yep. And basically it's a fast strike battleship, battle cruiser, maybe even dreadnought class, depending on your classing system. Yep. Fitted with overdrives, so it can hit warp speed quite easily. Cool. And a full armament of Avion, stop beam, and punch through cannons, as well as some flak. So, like, what inspiration did you take for the actual shape of the thing? Is it just, uh, you know, you just threw it together, or is it coming from anything? Um, there was a little bit of inspiration from Star Wars, the Bark Speeder, which is how I got the large fins on the sides. Yep. Yep, yep. Nice engines, by the way. Yeah, I had to fill in gaps back there as well. Ah, uh, service not responding. That's alright, I'm still flying around. Just keep talking about it. I haven't so, really come up with a backstory for this ship yet, so... Turrets? You got a number of different sized turrets, so what did you choose for the turrets? Um... The purple ones are punch through. The uh, ones that have the yellow stripe going down the middle of them, of each cannon, are the flak cannons. The black ones are pretty much the. Uh, I'm gonna stop you in your tracks and make it so you cannot move. Yep, yep. Cannons. Those are linked up with beams and. Uh, cannons so they literally will hold your ship in place while they fire at you. Cool. The blue ones on the sides are the ion cannons. Yep, yep. Does it have Which, a hanger? It does not at this time. Okay. I are you still working you still I'm working, working on, on the interior, interior or yeah. Right. Okay, well I think because it's so big We'll probably come back and do your interior another time, but um, yes. I would say it's looking pretty sweet from the bridge view. So that's nice and it's very inspiring. So what's the name of the ship again? The, it's the Gallifrey. The Gallifrey. Also, if I can uh, show you real quick about the turrets. Yeah. If you notice the um, hard point that has no turret on it right now, yeah, on the blue. side. Yeah, 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 on the side. If you look at any of the other turrets, you'll notice that they are red underneath. Oh, so they change color when they're actually docked. Yes. I have just undocked one of my turrets to show this. Which turret? Um, yeah. Left side ion turret. <laughs> you would make me go all the way over there, wouldn't you? <laughs> Let's have a look. Okay, so it's undocked and it is blue, everyone. So there you go. Intelligent I'm going docking. To back up. And I'm going to redock. And now it is That's red it. again. So there you go. Intelligent docking and logical uh, lighting. I really like, I like it a lot. All right, well, um, what was the name of the ship again? Gallifrey. The Gallifrey. So thank you, Matthew, for showing us this one. 
and we'll be coming back to it to check out your interior very soon. So thanks again. And weapon system as well. Yep. So thanks again. I'll see you next time. Okay. So that's you done. Who's next?